How to make sex better? Are you finding that sex is either not pleasurable or simply painful? Maybe you are worried about how much your partner is enjoying it? Whatever the case, if you work on it, you can improve your sex life. Use safer sex practices. It can be easier to relax and enjoy yourself if you feel confident that you are practicing safer sex. With this in mind, make a plan to make your sex life as safe as possible. If you can, before you have sex, get to know your partner, and talk openly about your sexual histories. Use a condom or dental dam every time you have sex, and for the complete act. Only latex and polyurethane condoms protect against STIS and HIV. Polyurethane condoms may break more easily than latex. Use a condom anytime you have vaginal, anal, or oral sex. A dental dam is a latex barrier that you can use when performing oral sex with a female partner. It can help prevent the spread of STIS and HIV. Women should also consider getting the HPV vaccine to help prevent problems like genital warts and cervical cancer. HPV vaccines may cause fainting or allergic reactions in some people, so talk with your doctor about whether the vaccine is right for you. Love the body you're in. Feeling self-conscious or embarrassed of your body can make sex needlessly uncomfortable. If you struggle with body image issues that are negatively affecting your sex life, then make it a priority to rectify what you can and accept what you cannot. Accepting your body is key to a happy self and the first step to better sex life. Try looking at yourself in the mirror and make it a point to find a new positive about yourself each day. You can also make it a point to get to know your own body in a sexual way. Women who masturbate have significantly more sexual satisfaction than those who do not knowing what feels good for yourself will help you communicate your needs to your partner. Communicate openly with your partner. Communication with your partner will improve your sexual satisfaction and help with your intimacy. It can be hard to establish and maintain open communication with your partner, especially if you aren't comfortable with sex and what you want. Think about what you can say and still feel comfortable and safe. No matter how well you may think you know each other, your partner isn't a mind reader. If there is something you want to change about your sex life, then it's important to talk about it. If your partner is really committed to you, then he or she will be willing to listen and respect your needs. Communicating your sexual needs can even be a good bonding experience for you and your partner. Reveal what you like. You need to be open with your partner about your attitudes and feelings toward sex. You should also make a point of asking your partner what she wants and what he likes. Being shy or coy will only make your partner feel self-conscious, which can make the experience worse for both of you. Let yourself enjoy the experience and allow yourself to let your partner see that you are enjoying it too. Don't judge your partner for what he or she likes. It can be scary for both of you to divulge that kind of information, so listen to them without interrupting. If your partner likes something that you are not comfortable with, let them know that you are not interested in it without making him or her feel weird or bad about his or her desires. Avoid using euphemisms when possible. These are not clear, and can make it harder for your partner to understand you. Use language that you are comfortable with, but remember that sex is not wrong or dirty, and using terminology that is clear and communicative is helpful. If you are want to know more please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for getting the notification.